What's up guys? Today we are watching season 2 episode 8 of Breaking Bad. So last episode wasn't too intense. I mean Skylar actually got her old job back which I thought was pretty cool but with her doing that it kind of seemed like that might have been the reason why Walt like upped the price of him and Jesse's product shit that they're making. But speaking of Jesse, him and the other girl, I kind of forgot her name, but they seem to be like getting closer and I mean it's kind of interesting to see considering that like Jesse basically has nobody in this situation so it's like I'm kind of happy for him and happy to see like where this shit's gonna go like I hope it doesn't end up like badly for him but you never know maybe he might fuck something up hopefully not though but we'll see so I guess let's get into the episode I'm just saying you know if you were selling I could maybe do with the teeth. How do you know to go up to someone like him? That's yours, right? What brown van? Park's all inconspicuous. It's a cop van. Yeah, another one right over there. <laughs> Seriously, and I don't mean to disrespect, but if you put a bunch of cops in the back of a garbage truck, there's no way I'm seriously thinking that there's cops in the back of a garbage truck. So is he right or is he wrong? Maybe he's just tripping. Kind of? Whatever, dude. I'm not even sure I want to buy anymore. I mean, I, I think you turned me off to the whole thing. Come on, don't be like that. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I got it. Go over there and punch that dude right in the face. Which dude? That dude? Yeah. No way. How, how is that the way you get someone to prove that they're not a cop? Huh. So, so go ahead and ask. You a cop? No, no, not like that. Ask it like official. Oh no, I feel like, I feel like it's actually gonna be a police officer somehow. Thanks, man. I knew it. I called it. He even said that those vans looked like cop vans. And what did he do? He still believed them. Better call Saul. That's the name of the episode. My own business. You are under arrest. I'd better call Saul. Oh my god. Constitution says you do, and so do I. Is that the Barney theme song in the background of that commercial? And why are the chairs knocked down? I'm not sure. I suggest you start with a bed. <laughs> God, I wish we could smoke in here. <laughs> so they already had sex. Maybe we should light up. No, thanks. You sure? Is that what lost her? What if she now starts to drift away from him? Oh. Hey. What'd I say? Nothing. I just have to go, is all. As soon as he mentioned smoking, that's... suspicious. My 18-month chip. I'm in recovery, and you know, pot, it's like stepping stones. So she can't mess it up. Come on, Jesse, don't mess it up for her. Your satellite's on, by the way. That screen's badass. So y'all might be cool. Maybe it's just weird now, now that you know that she's in recovery. Okay, maybe we'll order a pizza tonight? Okay. Mm. Bye. 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 
he's skeptical of it because she's like dressing up a little bit. I need to talk to you. I, I'm... Hey, Marie, it's me. What's up? It's about Hank. The phone goes right back to bed. And all he keeps saying is, I'm fine. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Poor Hank. That shit is traumatic, so... Uh, it's, it's me, Hank. Sorry, I... Hey, buddy. What's, what's up? It is so sad to see him try and keep on a happy persona that he usually gives. I guess you, you heard about what happened down in Juarez? Terrible. What do you expect? To freaking animals. It's like he's also trying to deal with it on his own, and that's what Walt is like trying to do too, like with his other shit. So they're similar in a way. And it doesn't seem like Hank wants to ask for help. He's trying to deal with it himself, so. But you know what? Ever since my diagnosis, I sleep just fine. It's so weird that it's like that for you. Like, I mean, especially that it's like after your diagnosis. Get out in the real world. And you kick that bastard as hard as you can right in the teeth. That's the kind of encouragement Hank needs. Maybe more enthusiastically, but... Not yours, I take it? Oh wait, that's her earring? I thought it was like a random thing. Who's short? Okay. Don't freak, all right? We didn't get ripped off, but Badger hasn't kicked in his full amount. I know he's planning on pulling all nine or so. Wait, wait. No, he got arrested. How were you gonna find out that he was arrested? You see Badger? Yo, don't you cover for him, bitch. I ask you a straight up question. I expect a straight up answer. Well, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? But you did tell him, make him scared of you. They were too scared to tell me. Badger got busted. He's in jail. So now you know. How's Walt gonna handle this? Lives in a damn cat. Now if I could only learn to lick myself. <laughs> See, that's where he belongs. Like with his people who also get him. You got a dealer. I was thinking of cruising over and saying hello. Maybe you'd like to go with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are they gonna find out? Well, they should know that he's like associated with Jesse. Plier is. I think this can end very well for you. What are you doing, detective? What are you doing talking to my client without me present? You sneaky Pete. He called Saul. There are laws, detective. Have your kindergarten teacher read them to you, right? Go grab a juice box. Have a nap. Go on. <laughs> He's really cocky, you know, sarcastic channels of pay-per-view in a Starbucks. That's nice. <laughs> that ain't me, man. I, I was the guy who was selling meth. <laughs> you don't help yourself, I swear. After that, we can discuss Visa or MasterCard, but definitely not American Express, so don't even ask, all right? Any questions? You just said a lot of shit like at the same time. Seriously, when the going gets tough, you don't want a criminal lawyer, 
right? You want a criminal lawyer. Know what I'm saying? Actually, no. You just repeated the thing you said. Why not? You look like his typical clientele. Dick. Fine. We'll flip for it. Mm -hmm. Last time you flipped, you didn't go to it. He looks so out of place in there. So it's a shame that we have to meet under these circumstances. Are you just not going to talk at all, Walt? I think he's looking at time served and probation. So leave your number with Francesca and uh, we'll be in touch. Excuse me, the DEA? Yeah. Meaning Hank. So Hank's gonna be on it, so he can't see him. What if he see, like, he sees them and then he says that he's the nephew of that dude and bam. Like, that's weird and risky. Seems young Brandon may have some information that could lead to his arrest. Jesus, cheer up. Now, this is good news. I mean, Brandon fell headfirst into the doo-doo pile. And it is not good news because that means you're in the same room as Heisenberg. Take revenge. What have you been telling him? The kid keeps spouting off about it. If, if I talk, they'll kill me, blah, blah, blah. You know, right now, he's the only thing holding up this deal. See, so they have been scaring him correctly as they planned, but also... Okay, I'm gonna set your nephew straight, get him singing like a canary, all's right with the world. $10,000. I'm not saying to throw the case, just no talking to the DEA. Are you saying what I think you're saying? He's being ballsy and asking him not to talk to the DEA. Saul Goodman we're talking about. Morally outraged, he said. Threatened to call the police. Wait, and Badger's gonna spill? Like the Exxon Valdez. God damn. For safety! What? God, you are killing me with that booty. Mm. Um, the fuck? You know what? I don't. I don't feel good about this situation. I feel like they're still there. What if they kidnap? Ah! I was right. They were gonna kidnap him. Lalo didn't send you. No, Lalo. Who? Oh, thank God. Oh Christ. Oh, I thought. They're still using those ski masks. That's my motto. But I'll take your money, sure. Nah, that offer's expired, yo. Oh, it was kind of low anyways, but, but okay, okay, I'll, I'll take it. It was kind of low anyway. Will not identify anyone to anybody. If he does, you're dead. Why don't you just kill Badger? That's what I thought Walt was gonna like say but then they just kidnapped that dude it was one of the other i thought was gonna happen hey i don't think i'm going out on a limb here but hey he's not gonna like prison he's gonna sing like celine dion regardless of what you do to me <coughs> so is their only option actually to kill badger recognize your cough take that mask off you know get some air one. Damn, so that wasn't a smart idea for you to go in because he recognized you. See, y'all are ass at this, but then y'all are also good since y'all haven't got caught yet. Strictly between us. I mean it. Put a dollar in my pocket. Come on, make it official. Come on, do it. I'm sorry, but y'all are like shitty. You're letting that man talk to you like that and like do all that shit. It's like y'all were so in 
intimidating at first, but then now you're not. It's like a total switch up after he knows who you are. And it's like, what's making you trust this guy? Okay, so if a prison shanky is completely off the table, and we're sure of that? No shanking! <laughs> and the way I see it is, somebody's going to prison. And it's gonna have to be Badger, because you don't want it to be you two, so... In and out. City, state, and federal, he's spent 44 of the last 58 years inside. Entire life behind bars. So he's literally helping them find someone to, like, pin on, like, who to call Heisenberg? Set for tomorrow. Cops bust Jimmy, Badger gets out, everybody's happy, and all it's gonna cost you is 80,000 and one pound of your finest meth. 80,000 and you want meth? So this dude is getting his own show because people in my comments have told me Better Call Saul is like a spin-off of this show. Did it start after this show or during it? I don't know. See, they keep making money and then spending it, you know? Like, it seemed like they might have had a good bit saved up, and then now they don't have much since they had to turn it in and, like, give it to that dude to help Badger. So they're watching it go down, too. No. Oh shit. What? Now he shows. Are they gonna take down the wrong guy? No, no. Oh my god, Jimmy's on the wrong bench. Crap! Uh, we're screwed. Oh, uh, what are you doing? How does he mess up the wrong bench? Get out. Go stop him. The DA is right there. They see me. We're screwed. Get out. I'll do something. Let you go. What are you going to do, Walt? Hank, I thought that was you. Oh, hey, Schrader, Steve, I'm how blocked. are you? Whoa, whoa. I have a good time. How you doing? Are you feeling okay? Schrader, I'm blocked. It's what we're working. Okay, so maybe that was a good plan. Take him. I'm sorry, that seemed literally so planned. Like, even though it was, it's like, as soon as the man got up, he already put his hands behind his head. Like, he knew he was getting arrested, so... Oh, and Heisenberg's real name? James Kilkelly. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Is Hank about to be, like, really suspicious of this guy? Was it her that bought you the mattress? So you bought a bed? <sighs> yeah. What is that, King? Oh, he bought the bed. I don't know why I thought she did. Because I, I didn't know that he actually bought it yet. You didn't even take off the plastic yet. Oh my god. You really are a chemistry teacher. How the hell did you randomly just find this man? Privileged. It's, I'm not in the shakedown racket. 
I'm a lawyer. Even drug dealers need lawyers, right? Especially drug dealers. You're saying that so loud, so... Huh? You know, this kid Mayhew may be the first of your guys to get picked up, but he won't be the last. And if I can find you, how far behind can the cops be? He ain't wrong, you know? He has a point. You're on to something special. And I would like to be a small and silent part of it. Food for thought, yeah? So he wants to basically, like, team up in a way. Keep the money that you make? Better call Saul! <laughs> well, shit. My God. So is, so that's why dude gets his own show. Because what does that mean? He's going to be like a lawyer like that for everyone or like people in the drug community. It, it feels weird for me to say drug community, drug dealers. Is he going to be like that for everyone and like represent people like that to make more money? So like that's why he got his show. I don't know. Maybe. And it's like, I was also still wondering if it started like after this, like did people like that enough to where they wanted to make that a spinoff or did it like start after Breaking Bad like ended? Maybe I'll look it up. But I swear to you, Badger is like, he's funny as fuck, but he's also not mentally there. <laughs> I swear the beginning scene of this episode, I was like, you know, they're probably tricking him and it actually is a cop. But then I look at the dude and I'm like, he doesn't kind of look like he can be a cop. So maybe he's not getting tricked. And then it actually did. <laughs> he actually did end up getting tricked and I find that so fucking funny. But it's like the shit that they had to go through just to get Badger out so Badger wouldn't fucking like spill on them and the way that it went so perfectly so like a dude wanted to go back to jail basically so he just took the fall it's like is that not gonna seem suspicious like hank already seems suspicious a little bit maybe but it's like if the same guy keeps going back to jail over and over you know like it's kind of weird maybe maybe it's not to them but like to me it seems like that but like, maybe if I was on the other side and I didn't know what I know, I wouldn't be that suspicious. But like, I swear to you, I didn't expect this episode to go this way at all. It's like, yeah, they're ballsy before, but it's like now they're getting more and more ballsy with this shit. And it's like, they get so close to like getting caught or something and they still get away with it like they are so they are shitty but also not at the same time because again they keep getting so close to getting caught and then don't and it's like how how does that even happen <sighs> maybe it doesn't like maybe it's not going to be like that in the future maybe it will maybe that's like the point to like keep people on edge and then, like, it works out for them in the end. But, like, I can't believe that shit. So now he's going to be teaming up with a lawyer, basically. So does that mean he might be, like, a series regular or, like, comes in in episodes, like, sp sporadically? I don't know. We'll find out. But it's, like, that whole episode... I love that episode for some reason. Like, they kidnap dude, and they seem so intimidating at first, and then as soon as the dude's like, is that you, Walter, basically? He's like, maybe. And then just, everything just flipped around, and the other dude seemed like he was in charge. Like, <sighs> And then Jesse, Jesse got a bed didn't even take the freaking plastic off and then bam they were already getting to it is that not gonna be uncomfortable take the plastic off you could have waited 
like a minute or two just to get it off but you're just like nope screw it oh well but I need to see more of what's gonna happen with this shit so I guess come back for episode 9